Hold on, I have an idea. <laughs> uh, it was a fun idea, I guess. Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Luna and I'm a top 500 Baptiste player here to show you 10 tips, some beginner and some advanced, to help you improve at Baptiste and climb out of plat. The first five tips will be more basic and the last five will be more advanced. Timestamps are on the screen now and without further ado, let's go. Tip number one, what to use Immortality Field for. Immortality Field, otherwise known as Lamp, Drone, Frisbee or Disc, is a 25 second cooldown, which is one of the longest in the game. This means it has to be used to its maximum value. Lamp is great for nullifying ultimates if used properly and should be used with the priority of saving lives. Using the lamp to save a teammate that has overextended is a good use but not great as it is correcting a mistake that your teammate has made as opposed to enabling a play. An example of a play you could make with the lamp when not using it to save teammates is a lamp barrage with Farah as she is very vulnerable when casting her ult. In the current meta it is important to ult track the enemy's sigma if they have one and make sure your lamp is ready for when they use gravitic flux. It is often better to not use the lamp than to panic and waste it, then not have it for when you need it. Also, make sure you place the lamp in places that make it hard to be destroyed, such as behind corners and environmental objects. Tip number two, what to use amplification matrix for. Amp matrix, otherwise known as window, should be used to either amplify healing to save your teammates or to do damage and pick up kills, relieving the stress on your team. Don't be afraid to use the window as and when you have it available as it charges really quickly. I've done a full video on how and when to use the window. Uh, click the card in the top right to check that video out. And just an extra little tip here is uh, you can press the alt button twice to rotate the window 90 degrees, making it easier for you to place it in front of your team in certain situations. Tip number three, how to place your lamp. A quick tip for guiding Baptiste's lamp is that it follows the trajectory of your healing grenades, much like Zarya's right click and her graviton. To practice and learn how his lamp works and bounces off the environment, I recommend taking some time in a custom game with an unlimited lamp cooldown and learn its trajectory. Be careful though, because it does bounce off the map skybox, whereas the healing grenades do not. Tip number four is to be smart with your abilities. Exo boots give you a lot of mobility, therefore the ability to dodge and evade ultimates. The best example I have of this is to track the enemy Reinhardt Shatter, if they have one, and see when he's planning on using it, and then keep some charge in your boots to reactively jump over the Shatter and place your lamp in a spot where it's hard to be destroyed, if possible. You can also reactively use the lamp when getting shattered, even if you don't jump, but you've got to be really quick to place it down. Furthermore, you can stop your lamp from being hacked in uh, EMP by throwing it vertically in the air and it will work as normal when it lands as it cannot be hacked in flight. Be careful when doing this in a closed room as it can hit the ceiling faster than you anticipate and then it will bounce back down and it might land and still get hacked. Behind. Come to me, come to me, lamps up. Sorry, that is what I'm talking about. And the last basic tip here is how to aim. Baptiste is the only character in the game to have a recoil pattern that isn't random. It is a three round burst that kicks up vertically every time and then resets back down to where your crosshair started. You can use this to your advantage by aiming for the torso of an enemy as opposed to their head. Aiming for their head will grant bonus damage when hitting shots. However, if you land the first shot, the second two of the burst will likely kick up over the target's head and then miss. Aiming for the torso allows one or two body shots and the final shot or two to kick to the head. This applies more at longer ranges as the hitboxes are smaller. In close range, the hitbox is larger, so it is easier to hit all three in the head if you're accurate. You can also control the recoil by dragging down on the mouse slightly each burst. Baptiste aiming does take some time to get used to and building muscle memory is very important. So put some time in the training range and in deathmatch to focus on his aim and recoil control. All right, I hope you still got space in your brain for some advanced tips now. Let's go. Tip number six, you can bounce the lamp off of walls to reach spots and save teammates. Placing Baptiste's lamp is incredibly important and essential to his impact as a character. If, for example, your Ryan is walled off from a May, you can look for a way to bounce the lamp off of the environment to have it land and save your Ryan. This is harder to do than just using your exo boots to jump over the wall, but it's much safer and faster as you are not exposing yourself to, let's say, a widow. I got you! Tip number seven, buffer heal shots shooting upwards before a fight. As Baptiste's healing grenades do not respect the map skybox, you can shoot them vertically in the sky and they will land roughly seven seconds later. This is a pretty niche tip and I wouldn't recommend you do this much. However, it can be useful before a fight when playing around corners or choke points to get a little extra healing output for when you need it. Tip number eight, 
Read the enemy composition and play accordingly. You cannot climb in Overwatch if you play the same character the same way every game, otherwise known as being hard stuck. If you see they are running a double sniper comp with Ash Widow, for example, you need to be extra aware of your positioning and you need to stop using the boots. I see a lot of bat players yeet into the sky at max speed, just allowing their enemy Widow to pop you in the head cross map. If you see they have a Sigma, track his ult as mentioned before. And also, if you have a Zenyatta, Communicate with them to make sure you don't use Lamp and Transcendence for one ult. Be smart with your ult usage. Tip number 9 is that you can animation cancel your melee for extra damage and healing. You can shoot a healing grenade and melee at the exact same time with an animation cancel. Punching in between bursts is a pretty good way to deal extra damage to someone who is in extreme close range to you, as it is pretty hard to hit BAP's 3 round burst at this range. You can also use Baptiste's melee as a subtle way to bait abilities as he throws his Lamp with his left hand as well as meleeing with his left. For example, a Sombra could come out of invisibility on you and keep shooting you till either she's too low and has to translocate out, or she thinks she forced your lamp. A sudden melee as you get low could make the Sombra think it's the animation for throwing a lamp and she'll TP away. This is really niche, but it has worked for me before. And the final tip is that you can shoot and heal at the same time. You can shoot while healing at no extra cost to your healing output. You shoot your bullets slightly slower, however the healing grenades keep the same fire rate. This is essentially free extra damage when healing, so make sure you are doing this to shoot barriers. Especially in this double shield meta, you need to be constantly applying pressure to these shields as Baptiste. Be careful doing this though, because trying to heal your team and shoot enemies at the same time is pretty hard and you might end up missing both, therefore having very little impact. So I recommend doing this primarily to burn down shields. So that's it, thank you all so much for watching, it really means a lot and I hope you've learned something. If you did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or would like to watch me live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash imluna, link in the description. I stream every day apart from Monday and Wednesday from 4 p.m. BST. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. Hello, Hello there people, today I am here to Hello, talk like about Sneak Energy, which a sugar-free energy drink right, simply mixed Have I just killed two there? Oh. Oh shit, we're gonna oh. die! We're good, we're good, we're- Oh my! Holy shit, dude, we're gonna die! <laughs> oh, get up, get up, get up. What are you actually doing? What? <laughs>